Hi guys and welcome to today's vlog. Today I am in my car because I'm off to Cambridge which is about 20-25 minutes from here and I'm going to get some Botox done. I need a bit of a top up. I've also got to pick up some kitty litter for Margot and I don't think the prescription lenses will be ready for my new Chanel sunglasses but I might drop in there and just see maybe by chance they could be ready so today I've just got my older Prada sunglasses it is a beautiful spring day and it's going to be quite warm so I've got on a cooler top because it's going to get quite warm driving. Once I've had my Botox appointment I'll also show you some different places in Cambridge as well. had my Botox done so I just get a little bit up through here and just under here as well and the girl that did it or the woman that did it is different from the person that did the derma needling that I had about three or four weeks ago now and I was saying to her how much the derma needling hurt and she said yeah it is really painful it's like your face being dragged along a sidewalk or a pavement and she said look do you want numbing cream next time and I said well, does it help she said yeah it does so she's put me in for half an hour earlier because my next derma needling appointment is in a couple of weeks so I just have to go about 20 minutes earlier so they can apply some numbing cream so as you saw I went to the warehouse chemist it's quite a cheap sort of drugstore place just picked up a few bits and pieces and no I didn't get any makeup from there but I am sort of interested in maybe trying a L'Oreal foundation maybe let me know if any of you have a L'Oreal foundation and what you think of it so now I've got to go and pick up some kitty litter for Margot and I'll just show you some other places around Cambridge as well
So that's about it for this vlog. I really just did a bit of window shopping. I go to Cambridge quite a lot and there is quite a lot more to see but I'll save that for another vlog. So I'll finish this vlog here and now move into the beauty room which I filmed the other day. So I'm doing this part of the video probably on another day where I do my vlogging. So my skincare is done for the morning and I put on sunscreen quite a while ago. So about 10 minutes ago I put on my Can Make sunscreen again because it's also really moisturizing. I also put it underneath my eyes and over my eyelids as well. So now I'm just going to put on some primer. I'm going to use the Chanel. This is the Perfecting Makeup Primer. I use this one a lot. And the foundation that I'm going to use today is a Guerlain one. And this is what I used the other day with it. And I thought together they looked really beautiful. Although that Guerlain foundation is gorgeous with all the other primers that I have as well. But I just thought today I would use the Chanel one. So I'm trying to recreate the same look that I had with a Will I Buy It video the other day. A few people commented on how they liked my look. So I will try and do the eyeshadow the same. It was the first time that I'd used it. That was the new Formula Dior one. But I'll try and use it in the same order. So the foundation that I used in that video, that is the Guerlain. This is the Gold Skin Matte one. This is a beautiful foundation. And this is now for sale in the US. So I will have it listed and linked below. So I'm going to do a pump, about a pump and a half. I did a dedicated video on this. I think it was later last year and I absolutely loved it. It is a really beautiful foundation. It gives, I think, quite a flawless look to the skin and it lasts really well. And even though it is a matte foundation, from what I've seen, it works with all skin types. It is just really beautiful. This also works really well for me in summer as well as winter in the cooler months. Even though it says matte, it's not a flat matte foundation and it does blur pores quite considerably. I think it just gives a really beautiful look. But I won't go on too much about the foundation as I did a dedicated video on it and if I remember when I upload this to YouTube I will put a link up here if you want to take a look at it. So for the concealer I'm going to use the Chanel Sublimage, one of my favourite concealers. It's absolutely beautiful. I have it on the table in front of me. It just sits to the left all the time because I do reach for this a lot. I also like the new formulated, the dual ones as well. This one just has just that little bit of extra something given all the skincare ingredients in it. And even though this is, it's initially quite pricey, I did a video quite a while ago now when I compared it, I think it might have been to a Tom Ford concealer that I purchased. And I compared this gram for gram with quite a few other concealers. And this ended up gram for gram and it certainly wasn't the dearest because this comes with, I think it's about 10 grams, which is a lot for a concealer. And for my eyebrows today, I'm using the Victoria Beckham, the Baby Blade one. This one was gifted to me and I've used quite a lot of it. I'm going to have to do another order fairly soon, I think. Now this one is in the shade, this is light brown. There's also another shade in taupe. And when I pick it up again, I'm going to get the shade taupe. I think it might be a little bit closer in shade to my favorite Chanel eyebrow pencil, the shade in that, the this one in taupe. So I'll give that one a go. So I'm just gonna grab some eyebrow gel just so that my eyebrows stay in place. If you've seen my other videos, you know that I don't really fuss around with my eyebrows too much. I really just, just like them to look tidy and stay in place. 
my shadow primer is on and even though I might skip some things that I'm putting on in this video everything that I'm putting on my face today I will have listed and linked in the description box below now the other day when I did my makeup look I pulled out the Charlotte Tilbury as the contour wand because I hadn't used it for a while so that's what I put on now with any contour I go fairly easy so I'm just going to put some through here and over the side as well and I'll also just put some along my jawline and just a little bit through here as well and I blended it out using a beauty blender so it really gives just a very very subtle contour one thing about this Charlotte Tilbury contour wand is if you're not very confident in contouring where I suppose I'm not really I've got better at it but I don't do it a lot the formula of this is really forgiving sometimes with different contours you need to know how to blend and what applicators to use but this works really well with a beauty blender it also works well with a brush and I've also used the Sonia G, the Sheer Buffer, one of my new favourite brushes. And it works really well with that. But it's a really forgiving contour. I think it just blends out really beautifully. I can add more if I want to, but I prefer it like this. Just so that, just so that you've got that really subtle contour. So I've just powdered under my eyes and for the rest of my face I'm going to use the Chanel Natural Finish Loose Powder and I just need to give it a shake. I decided that this year was going to be the year that I would use this up and as you can see I'm nearly at the end of it and I will be repurchasing this. I think this is fantastic with oily skin and it's super flattering for my mature skin as well so i'm just using the sonia g this is the face one i just tapped a bit of powder onto the lid and just tap the brush on there and i'm just going to be just buffing it in just a small amount and for the eyeshadow it's one of the reformulated dual ones and this is in plum tutu now when i used it the other day it was the first time that i used it I think this is a gorgeous colour story, it is really beautiful. So I was really just playing around with it and I really loved how the final look came out. I think I used all the shades but that one there. So these are the four shades that I will be using today. I will swatch this on my hand just so you can take a look at it. So I've swatched the shades from left to right, top to bottom and the middle one last. So here is the top left top right these are both shimmers this one's more of a topper shade this one is the bottom left bottom right and this is the middle shade so let's see if I can recreate the same look I'm going to take the Sony G this is the blender pro and I'm going to start off with this shade here just taking a very small amount and I'm going to take this all over the lid through the crease and just take it just slightly above as well just enough so when I look ahead you can still see the shadow then I'm going to take the wrapper number three I'm going to stay with that shade I'm going to run that under my lower lash line and I, once I've put this on I will blend it through just with the Sonia G I think this is the the soft definer brush so I'll go over with that just to soften it out so I don't have any problems with this eyeshadow quad I find the formula really not much different to the older ones it's pigmented and it also blends it really beautifully as well so just take the soft shader and just go over that just to soften it out a bit and also to blend it up through here as well then I'm going to take the wrapper number 13 and I'm going to go into this middle shade this is really pigmented so I'll just put 
put a little bit on there to start off with. I might just put the excess just on the other eye. So I only tapped really lightly into that shade so you can see how pigmented they are. Now, if you watch my other videos, I often use the Rafa 14. It's one of my favorite brushes. It just seems to be the perfect size just for my eye shape and my eye size. But this Rafa 13 is similar. It's just that it's a little bit smaller and it's quite good when I want to do just a little bit more detailed work. I just want to, I want to take this above as well, but I just want to go fairly carefully. And I'm going to have to pick up a little bit more pigment to do my other eye. So I'm just tapping it in and then I think I'll tap it on the cloth in front of me just to take off the excess pigment. This is a beautiful, beautiful shade. Then I'm just going to take a clean brush and go over that just to blend it out even more. The shade is quite dark and even though I do want it to show when my eyes are open, I just want to soften it out a little bit. Then I'm going back to the Rafa 3 stain with this deeper shade in the middle and I'm also going to run this under my lower lash line just through towards the middle and I'll just grab a little bit more of the shadow and I've got the Sonia G this is the flat definer and I'm going to go into this shade here and just really pack it onto the brush and just slowly tap it over my lid. This is the shade I thought that just made the whole look come to life. It is really beautiful. And I've wiped down the Rafa 3 and now I'm going into this shade here. And what I did the other day was I just carefully just tap some through here just towards the middle and I also put some in the inner corner as well so I'll do that today. Now for the eyeliner the other day I used two different shades they're both Victoria Beckham ones I used the one in Smoky Quartz I'll swatch them on my hand I use this on my upper lash line so this one is Smoky Quartz and the other one is Sea Grey and this is the one that I put on my lower lash line. So this is Sea Grey and this one is Smoky Quartz. These eyeliners are buttery smooth. I think that they are just gorgeous. I have quite a few of them. I think these two ones, the Smoky Quartz and the Sea Grey, I think both of them may have been gifted or at least one of them was. So I'm going to start off with Smoky Quartz. Now I don't put a lot on, just a little bit right in the upper lash line. And then for the lower lash line, Sea Grey and again I just put on just a little bit through here. And once I've popped it on, I flip to the other side of the pencil and use the sponge and just make sure that it's blended out just so that everything looks nice and soft. What I do once I've used the sponge is that I spray some of the Cinema Secrets that I have onto my microfiber cloth and then clean the sponge. I do that after each time that I've used it just to keep them nice and clean. And for mascara I'm going to use the Laura Geller one. This is the Kajal Longwear Mascara. In my other video when I did this look the other day I used my Chanel Le Volume one but I really like this mascara as well. Now this was gifted to me from Laura Geller. I really like this mascara. It doesn't clump it doesn't transfer 
and most importantly I don't end up with panda eyes. And for blush I'm going to use the same one that I used the other day and this is the Sicily one and this is in Rose. I also have the one in Coral as well. These blushes are just stunning. So this is a Chocohoto brush and you can do quite a bit of swirling in the pan and you can slowly build it up if you want to. I've got that rogue curl that I've had through the whole video. But anyway, are we, are we putting my hair down soon once I've finished the look? The blush is absolutely gorgeous. It is really flattering and just gives that beautiful wash of colour. And you also just get a little bit of radiance as well. The embossing on this is absolutely beautiful. Just a gorgeous blush. And then finally for lipstick, I'm going to use the Victoria Beckham one. This is the shade in Girl. And then over the top, just in the middle, I'm just going to pop on a little bit of Victoria Beckham lip gloss. That one is in the shade Bikini. So here is the final look. And altogether, I think this is really gorgeous. The Galan foundation is beautiful. I love it so much that whether it expires, I have so many foundations, so this could expire before I actually run out of it. But whether it expires or if I do run out of it, I am definitely getting another one. It is absolutely gorgeous. It has this blurring effect on my skin. It is so gorgeous and super flattering for mature skin. Absolutely beautiful. The Dior eyeshadow is gorgeous. The Plum Tutu is beautiful. As I was saying earlier in the video, I have no problem with this. I think the formula is really good. It has pigment, it blends really beautifully. I also picked up the other one. I've only got two in the new formula or the latest one from the full collection as well now. But initially I just picked up two. So Plum Tutu and the other one is Grand Ball and I haven't used Grand Ball yet. I picked that one up because I use the one in the older formula a lot. That is a really beautiful neutral color story. But this is just gorgeous. The Victoria Beckham eyeliners are gorgeous. They are buttery smooth. And with the sponge applicator at the end, and I was saying that when I used the Dior eyeliner in a video just a little while ago, I really like them, especially when they're a bit more softer eyeliners, that they have that sponge tip on the other side. Because if you make a mistake, you can just blend it out. You can also use it to get much of a thicker eyeliner through here and then really smoke it out using the sponge as well. But as you saw today, I still use it on my lower lash line. I just like to do that just to soften it out, but they are absolutely gorgeous eyeliners. The Sicily blush, I know this has been around for a long time, but this is really one of my favorite blushes. The formula is just gorgeous. And I could keep building up the shade, but I don't think you need to. I think it gives that beautiful wash of color. It has this gorgeous radiance on it and just sits really well on my skin. Doesn't emphasize texture at all. And I really enjoy the Victoria Beckham, the posh lipsticks. I like the size of them. I like the thin bullet. I think it is very chic. I have this in about, I think four or five shades. I think next time I do a shop at the Victoria Beckham website, I wouldn't mind picking up this one. She has one in orange and I wouldn't mind picking up that one as well. And I really like her lip gloss. I just put it in the middle and I think it just lifts the lipstick and just gives an overall really pretty look. 
So that's it for today's video. I would love it if you gave it a like and subscribed, and I will see you next time. Bye.